Simon Bridges. Mr. Speaker, I, I have uh, respect for David Clendon, and, uh, and I think he's, he's uh, raised some valid points. But I do think that he has, uh, at base, um, proceeded from a, a, a misguided sense of what actually this bill is doing and what it's about. Because actually, what he's essentially saying to this House as well, that the human rights of the prisoner are going to be transgressed, transgressed by this bill. Well, I want to say uh, to Mr Clendon and members of the House, actually, that's not what this bill does at all. And let me go right through... Um, let me just give uh, Carmel Cipollone a little, little, a little bit, of, bit of word of advice on this bill. I agree, it's her party's bill originally, and I'm supporting it, so it probably not really the need for heckling. And as I say uh, to David Clinton, but he comes from a misguided position because, in fact, what this bill does doesn't take away any prisoner's rights. Let's say a prisoner is wronged in a serious way by a prison guard and he receives compensation. I agree that he should receive the compensation. But the issue then is uh, what happens with that money where, in fact, he rightfully, morally, owes a victim of crime, his victim of crime, some money for something. Uh, perhaps because they have been seriously, substantially out of pocket because of the wrongs that he has done. Well, I say to this House, morally, they deserve some of that money. And that's what this bill does. His rights have been vindicated because the state has had to, let's say, for argument's sake, pay out $25,000 to him. It could be a her, more likely to be a him going on uh, the, the figures in our prisons of men and women. But then from that, the victim of crime, his victim of crime, is also vindicated. I, I've got to say, actually, the idea that wrongdoers... Uh, 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 or that the state pays out um, for, for its wrongs is, is, isn't without controversy. I happen to agree with it, but actually it was something that the courts, without reference to Parliament in our country, did through, uh, I think it was, Bajant's case in the early 90s, or uh, it had another name, Attorney General in Simpson. Uh, it wasn't without controversy. I personally agree with it. But to actually argue that somehow handing out, dishing out compensation is this, this base, uh, basic fundamental right is controversial. It's not necessarily the absolute truth. But as I say, I come back to the point, actually, this is a good bill. It does the right thing. And I think David Clendon, while, while albeit being, uh, being uh, or working from good motives, is misguided when he says that the human rights of prisoners are transgressed with this bill.